everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 11, called Strange Vis Visitor from Another Planet. So we start off with uh, Supergirl versus people from the fire, and since so she gets done with that, she uh, goes to the coffee shop as Kara to get coffee for Cat Grant and meets a guy there. And then we have, a, um, then after she does that, there's, there's an anti-alien rally happening where they want to ban aliens from, well, the Earth, basically. Well, mostly Metropolis. And then when uh, she's trying to talk to Wynn about it, he's being icy towards her and just kind of ignores her. Then uh, James wants to uh, go do the rally and take pictures. And it turns out the guy that Carr ran into is Adam Foster, who is Cat Grant's son. And so she, he just kind of shows up at work. And it turns out um, Carr sent the letter, but Adam thinks that that Cat sent it to him. And Cat gets furious at her and fires her. But then Carr tries to reason with her, and so she calmed down a little bit and unfired her for now. <laughs> And then we go to the, um, the rally, <clears throat> and we have this uh, Senator Crane is spewing, spewing all types of craziness and blah, blah, blah. And then we have an alien attacks the rally. So Supergirl rescues Crane, and James managed to take a picture, and it turns out it was a white Martian. And then... <clears throat> Then we cut to her crane. It's being very vindictive, and she has to stay at the DEO. And the reason why the White Martian even showed up it was partly um, Henshaw's fault because when he used the mind trick in the previous episode, it sent like I guess they have like a telepathic link. I feel like, and anyway, the White Martians detected it and they sent someone down. And then we cut to where Cat is nervous for dinner. And basically, at this dinner, Cat basically does verbal diarrhea, basically, just talking about all of her accomplishments, trying to like make herself look all cool and popular or whatever. And he's not impressed with it at all, and they just kind of um, cut it short. And he's, she's like, why? And he's like, you're talking too much about yourself. And then we have Crane attacks Henshaw. And turns out Crane is actually the White Martian. <laughs> and uh, Supergirl helps out, but uh, she escapes, um, explains herself, and then have John's backstory where they killed his family, and basically they put them in these like uh, detention areas, and if and they were forced to work and do stuff under the White Martian rule, so um, they they pretty much eradicated the entire green population. Then we cut to where Grant is placing her anger on Kara, and she says, I'll fix this, so she goes to talk to Adam, and now he knows that she wrote the letter, and um, so she comes clean about it, and um, tries to calm it down a little bit, and it works, so he agrees to uh, meet with her only if Kara goes as well as like a mediator. And then, <clears throat> then we have Cat gets the ball rolling. Then Adam is trying to be nicer. Keyword trying. <laughs> and then, um, as far as it feels like it's going better, she leaves, let them carry on the conversation. And then we cut to where Henshaw is going to off the White Martian because he's sick of it and he's full of pent up anger about it. And it turns out he, we found out that he's over 300 years old. What? <laughs> and then we cut to uh, he starts to get a little bit irrational um, he basically um, singles out the white Martian and they find the senators because basically one of them is the white Martian one of them is actually the actual senator so Alex has the white Martian and then we have Henshaw being irrational because he the um, white Martian kidnaps Alex. Then Supergirl reasons with them. He doesn't listen. And have White Martian versus Supergirl. Then John is about jumps in and they battle and they're literally about to off the White Martian, but Supergirl finally talks them out of it. And then Henshaw sees them. At, um, so 
they put the person in the death jail. Can't even talk, right, with this part. <laughs> so um, we find out that Henshaw really does care for Kara and Alex and views them as daughters, basically. And then Crane changes her mind about the whole anti-alien rally and sides with John. It's like, they just seem better re- representation. They're like, there's going to be good and bad ones, regardless. Then Adam, um, then we cut to where Adam decides to stay um, in town to talk to Catmore slash ask her out on a date. And so they talk about dating. And as they're talking, she sees a fake Supergirl on TV. And that's the end of the episode. So that was a crazy episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have to give this an A plus. I need beds away from the computer. <laughs> Sorry about all the bobblehead movement. But this was a really good video. I really did it. Um, episode. I really did enjoy it. And um, you get to learn more about John Jones and what he went through. And I love when they when people flesh out the details of the characters and stuff. So I really do like it. And the whole Cat Grant Adam Foster thing, I thought that was good as well. And just a bunch of different things. It was just a really good episode, so I give this like an A+. Plus. So that's what I'm doing for this episode. And um, just say what you think down below in the comment section. And like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions for any shows, TV, well, TV, music, and movies, also let me know down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.